This is the hour. This is the hour for which we've waited in rain and sunshine, this 2nd of June, 1953. The Queen has now reigned longer than Queen Victoria, but it'd be difficult to imagine two more different women. Victoria was self-indulgent, and she made her violent likes and dislikes all too plain. The Queen keeps her opinions to herself, and she's a model of discretion and grace. But Victoria gave her name to an age. The Queen won't. Victoria surrendered political power to her husband, Prince Albert. The Queen jealously guards hers from Prince Philip. But both women allowed their husbands to act as head of their families, with disastrous consequences. But how will history judge our present Queen? There are two key moments, I think. The first was the 2nd of June, 1953. And now, from Buckingham Palace, in this supreme moment, the coach of state with a sovereign's escort carrying the Queen to her crowning. I, then a boy of eight in my Sunday best, gathered along with countless millions of others to watch the coronation of a new monarch on a new television set. The Queen, with her youth, her sincerity and her smile, was the most attractive embodiment yet of the Windsor values of family, service and duty. And she has remained a rock in an age of change. The second was on the 20th of November, 1992. In the aftermath of the fire at her beloved Windsor Castle, her Majesty picked through the ashes in wellies and a headscarf, looking every bit a broken old woman. But, as usual, she picked herself up and carried on. The Queen, of course, has had a generous measure of good luck, with even her wildly dysfunctional family having the wisdom, for the more part, not to quarrel too publicly. The great exception, of course, is the fractious marriage of the heir to the throne with Diana, Princess of Wales, which ended so tragically. It seemed a moment of real danger for the monarchy, but memories have faded, and what once rocked the House of Windsor to its foundations has been largely forgotten if not entirely forgiven. In fact, the monarchy looks almost as secure now as when her reign began, partly because our politicians are so unimpressive in comparison. For the present, the Queen, in her 80s, has got to confront the major new challenges of Scottish nationalism and a vote on our membership of the European Union. Uneasy lies the head that wears even the most secure crown. David Starkey, Five News. <laughs>